Module 3, Lesson 14, Ordered Pair. I can statements. I can solve real world and mathematical problems using the coordinate plane. I can use coordinates and absolute value to find the distance between points on the coordinate plane. I can use ordered pair to name points in a grid and to locate points on a map. I can identify the first number in an ordered pair as the first coordinate and the second number as the second coordinate. The first number in an ordered pair is called the first coordinate. Go ahead and write that down so we have the first coordinate. Later on we're also going to call this the x coordinate. The second number of an ordered pair is called the second coordinate and later on we'll start calling it the y coordinate. But for now we'll call them first coordinate, second coordinate. Although it is inevitable as I teach this lesson, I will call them the x-coordinate and the y-coordinate, so we should probably write those down to x-coordinate and y-coordinate. Example number two, describe how the ordered pair is being used in your scenario. Indicate what defines the first coordinate and what defines the second coordinate of your scenario. So in the classroom there are a set of scenarios that you would be given and you and a partner would work together to describe these scenarios. And for example there is a football stadium that has 210 sections and it has 144 seats in each section. When you go to the game, your ticket says one, two, three, three, seven. So looking at our ticket and looking at the information, what could this mean about your, where you're sitting at the game? One way you could look at this is that the first number, the 123, tells you that you are in section. 123 and in that section you would be in seat 37. That's one way that we could interpret the information. Because we don't know what these number mean, numbers mean, we could also say that you are in seat 123 and you are in section 37. We don't have any information in this situation that would actually tell us which order it needs to be in. So it's possible that I could go to the wrong section and sit in the wrong seat. Or I could go to the wrong seat and be in the wrong section. So one of the things to know about ordered pair is that the order matters because it takes us to specific locations. Now if on my ticket they had something like, like section and seat right above the numbers then I would know to go to this section and go to this seat. Alright, exercise one. The first coordinates of the ordered pairs represent the numbers on the line labeled X. So as we look at this picture here this line right here is X and it is measuring for us a distance from this vertical line starting at zero. So this X right here tells me how far I am from this vertical line zero which is very much like our number lines. The second number goes with the Y and it tells me how far I am from this X. So Y is a measurement of distance from this X line right here. And we use positive and negatives to tell us the direction we are. So if I have a, well we'll get to that in a second. 
So we are going to name the let letter from the grid that corresponds with each ordered pair of the numbers below. So the first one tells me my position on the line X. It tells me that I am at 1 on the line X. The second number tells me my position on the Y. So I go up to the 4. So the first number tells me that I'm coming to 1 on the X and the second number tells me I'm coming to 4 on the Y. And it's letter F or point F. I should probably write that down. Point, there we go, point F. Looking at B. B says that I'm at 0 on the X and I am at 5 on the Y which is point A. Right now you should pause the video and you should finish the rest of these and then unpause the video and compare your work and thinking with my work. Please be certain to take the time to think your way through these problems. Alright, looking at C, I'm supposed to go to 4 on the X and 1 on the Y, point B. I am supposed to go to oh, knew that was going to happen. All right, I'm supposed to go to eight and a half on the x, which is right about here, and then I am supposed to go to eight on the y, which is point L. Now, something important about this particular example. Even though 8 and 5 tenths is not written on the line, it is in there between the 8 and 9. So I do need to pay attention to those decimals and where they're telling me I'm supposed to be. E, I am supposed to go to 5 on the X and negative 2 on the Y. And here we have the appearance of negative numbers. So our positive numbers tell us that we are moving in the positive direction on the number lines. Our negative numbers tell us we are moving in negative directions on the number lines. So I'm going to go to 5 and I'm going to go up to 4 and 2 tenths. Oh, that's a tricky one. So here I've got 2 that are here at the 5 but I'm looking for 4 and 2 tenths. 4 and 2 tenths is going to be closer to 4 than it is to 5, so I'm going to go with point H. And then I'm going to go to 2 and negative 1, which will give me point C. And then I'm going to go to 0 and go all the way up to 9 and have point E. So a couple of things to pay attention to, reiterate these again. Right here, we had that eight and a half, and here I had to use a little bit of thinking to figure out which one of those went with four and two tenths. All right, so here we are going to do the opposite. We're going to find point M and write the ordered pair that goes with it. So if I want to find the ordered pair, first I need to find the x-coordinate, which is 5, and then I need to find the y-coordinate, which is 7. Point S, I need to find the x-coordinate, we're jumping over into the negatives here, it's a negative 2, and going up to 3. Point N, going over to 6 on the X and I'm not going up or down. This will come up in a, another lesson but when the X or Y is 0 that means we're on one of the lines. In this case because we have no movement on the Y that means we're sitting right on X. Alright, point T starting at 0 going over to negative 3 and up to 2. 
So we're at negative 3 on the x and we're at 2 on the y. Point P. I'm not going anywhere on the x. I'm not going left or right, staying right here on the x, and I'm coming up to point P, which is at 6. Point U, I'm going over to 7. Oh, 7 on the x, and I'm going up to 5. Point Q, I'm going over to the 2, and I'm going up to the 3. Point V, I'm going over to the negative 1 and up to the 6. And point R, I'm not going anywhere on the X. I'm staying right where I'm at. And I'm going up to the R, which is at 3. So go ahead and compare your work, your thinking, with my thinking. Of course, the big idea here is that anyone could look at these coordinates and they would get these same answers and go to the same spots. as anyone else would. So we agree. When we talk about ordered pair, we agree that this first coordinate gives us a location on this x line. And we agree that this second coordinate gives us a location on this y line. Everyone agrees that we will use x and y coordinates. First coordinate is x, second coordinate is y. So why does order matter when using ordered pairs? It says it right in the name that it's an ordered pair. It's not just a pair of numbers. It's an ordered pair. Why does it matter? So that we end up in the right spot. The order is important because it provides one specific location in the coordinate plane. If somebody looks at, we're going to 2, 3, and they go over 2 and up 3, they're going to be in a different spot than someone who goes up 3 and over 2. They're going to be in different locations. So we have to agree on what each part of this ordered pair means. And what we've agreed is that we have where we are on the x and where we are on the y. Elena says the order in which the values are given in an ordered pair does not always matter. Give an example of when the order does not matter and an example of when the order Oh, sorry, when the order does matter and an example when the order does not matter. Can you think of a time when the order has to be right? And of course, I just gave you this example. 2 3 could take you to two different spots. If I go over 2 and up 3, that's where I end up. If I go up 2 and over 3, this is where I end up. I've wound up in two different locations. Now, an example of when it does not matter. A time when putting them, when the order doesn't matter, well, what happens if the coordinates are the same? In that case, 2, 2 takes me to the same spot every time. The order does not matter if the first and second coordinates are the same number. For example, 3, 3 is the same location in the coordinate plane no matter which point is used as the first coordinate. However, order does matter when the two coordinates are not the same. For example, 1, 3 has a different location than 3, 1. So explain how to locate points when pairs of integers are used. When somebody gives you something like this, what does that mean you are supposed to do? Take a moment, think about that, write that down, explain it to yourself. What does that mean you're going to do? Well, the first coordinate describes the location on the horizontal direction. The first coordinate tells me I'm moving left and right and how far to move left and right. The second coordinate tells me where am I going up and down, my vertical. If it's positive numbers for the first coordinate, I'm headed this way. 
If it's negative numbers, I'm headed over this way. If it's positive for the second, I'm up here. If it's negative for the second, I'm headed down here. So basically what we're doing is combining two number lines, a horizontal number line and a vertical number line, and we're using that to find out where we are. Lesson summary. The order of numbers in an ordered pair is important because the ordered pair should describe one location in the coordinate plane. Not like that example with going to the football stadium where we could be in the wrong section or in the wrong seat because we didn't know what order the numbers went in. The first number, called the first coordinate, the x-coordinate, describes the location using the horizontal direction. The second number, called the second coordinate, describes the location using the vertical direction. Hopefully you feel confident that you can use ordered pairs to name points in a grid and to locate points on a map. And hopefully you can identify the first number in an ordered pair as the first coordinate and the second number as the second coordinate. That concludes Module 3, Lesson 14. Make sure you complete your problem set and your exit ticket. And if you've got questions, make sure you reach out to your teacher.